to our webinar. Today we're going to be discussing data acquisition. We have made data acquisition easy. With flexible and easy to use data acquisition equipment and software, we can help you quickly and easily increase productivity, take and display measurements, log data, and conduct analysis. We'll start with a quick introduction, then go over data acquisition, control, data communication, and wireless technologies. Then we'll go over SCADA supervisory control and data acquisition software, which includes displaying of graphical information from data acquisition equipment, trend graphs, sending email alarms based on conditions, and data logging. Last but not least, we will demonstrate how to use easy data logger control and monitoring software for data acquisition. If you have any questions at any time, please enter them into the chat box. I'm Maria Limoni, Sales Manager here at icp USA and have Mohsen from our Technical Support Department with me. Later in the training, he will demonstrate data acquisition with SCADA software. icp was established in 1993. Our headquarters is located in Shinshu, Taiwan. icp USA was launched in 2001 to support the North and South American markets. We have over 100 R&D engineers and work closely with them to add new features to our products, develop new products, and to support our customers. For large products, projects, they have come out to help when needed with programming services and firmware modifications. We provide free technical support out of our office here in Southern California and also provide programming services if needed. We provide total automation and monitoring solutions for many industrial industries including building, energy, power, oil and gas, transportation, water filtration, and manufacturing. Most of our products are ROHS compliant, which means they are lead free. We have our ISO 9001 certification, which ensures we meet product statutory and regulatory requirements. Data acquisition, abbreviated DAQ, is the process of sampling real-world physical information and the conversion of the sampled data into digital numeric values that can be understood by computers and controllers. This picture shows a data acquisition computer program with a trend graph running on a PC connected to an Ethernet switch which is connected to an Ethernet based thermocouple input and digital output module. The program takes the temperature data and triggers a fan to turn on or off through the digital input on the ET7018Z module based on the temperature determined by the thermocouple sensor. The free Easy Data Logger program on the PC is used to implement the control logic operation through simple VB script. You can set up a system like this in just a few minutes. You can just install the Easy Data Logger software and Mini OS 7 utility on your PC. Then you configure the ET7018Z's IP address with the Mini OS 7 utility, configure Easy Data Logger, and you can log, show, and graph data on the PC. We provide a wide variety of analog and digital data acquisition hardware that supports DCOM, Modbus RTU, Modbus TCP, FRNet, Profibus, Ethernet IP, CanOpen, DeviceNet, and USB protocols. All of our data acquisition products are tested against stringent environmental and industrial standards. We provide remote I.O., rack-based, data loggers, power meters, PCI and ISA boards, Zigbee wireless, and Wi-Fi wireless I.O. Our data acquisition products come with free easy data logger software, which allows you to set up a data acquisition system in just a few minutes which makes data acquisition easy. ICP DAS started in 1993 and our first products were our i7000 series distributed I.O. modules. They come in a wide range of digital and analog I.O. configurations including thermistor, RTD, current, voltage, strain gauge, relay, and digital I.O. They are communicable over RS-485 serial over our own DECON protocol, which can work with Easy Data Logger, WinPack Programmable Automation Controllers, TPD Touchscreen PLCs, Embedded I-7188 EX Controllers, and more. 
With these products, you can use the serial port on your laptop or desktop PC, or you can use a USB to serial converter to connect to voltage inputs, thermocouples, strain gauges, RTDs, analog or digital sensors. They support operating temperatures of negative 25 to 75 C or negative 13 to 167 degrees Fahrenheit and have low power consumption of 10 to 30 D, 10 to 30 VDC. They're often used in outdoor applications in control panels and are powered through solar power. They are configurable with free Decon Utility configuration software through ASCII commands. Modbus RTU data acquisition modules, like our I-7000 modules, can communicate up to 4,000 feet and can communicate greater distances with RS-485 repeaters like I-7510 that we provide. We provide a variety of DIN rail mountable Modbus RTU based distributed I.O. modules in a wide variety of analog and digital configurations. They, just like our I-7000 series, come with patented auto tuner so the data rate and data format is automatically tuned to keep the communication robust. Dual watchdogs provide maximum uptime because if there are any software or hardware problems out in the field, the modules will automatically reset themselves. Configurable safe values allow for the modules to start up in a desired on or off state. Ethernet is widely used in industrial applications and is often pre-installed in many buildings. We carry a variety of DIN rail mountable Ethernet I.O. solutions with one or two Ethernet ports for data acquisition. Our AT7000 series are remote I.O. modules that have a web server inside for configuration, control, and monitoring through a standard web browser. They support Modbus TCP protocol for seamless integration with SCADA software. The dual Ethernet port versions support daisy chain wiring and the communication can get to the next node even if one node in the middle of the chain is powered off. So right here at the bottom right of the screen you can see that um, these actually have two uh, ports. So one of these cables goes to one port, one of these cables goes to the other port. Uh, and over here there should actually be two cables. Um, anyways, even if this one in the middle was off, the communication can still get through. Ethernet I.O. can communicate up to 100 meters and can communicate greater distances through Ethernet switches. Our dual port Ethernet I.O. have a two port Ethernet switch inside. We provide a lot of rack based solutions including Modbus RTU, Modbus TCP, USB and RS-485. We also provide programmable automation controllers like the WinPack series with Windows CE .NET 5.0 operating system and come with free e-logger control and monitoring software. We provide a wide variety of cartridge based I-8000 parallel and I-87K serial I.O. modules for our rack based solutions. Our rack based data acquisition I.O. products can be used with free Easy Data Logger software. Easy Data Logger software is making data acquisition easy. It is a very easy to use data logging, data acquisition, control, and monitoring software. You can log data from data acquisition hardware like data loggers, remote I.O. modules, and you can log the data based on configurable time intervals like 10 samples per second. The data can be stored in Access or MySQL database and can be exported to Excel spreadsheets or reports. You can log as much data as you need depending on the memory size of your computer system. You can send out email alarms based on conditions like when a tank level, pressure measurement, or flow rate is over a preset desired level. Easy Data Logger is designed for small, remote I.O. systems with up to 64 I.O. tags. A more advanced version called Advanced Easy Data Logger is available for more advanced applications with up to 1,024 tags. For larger systems, we provide Indusoft SCADA software, which can support thousands of tags and supports more customizability, multi-language support, advanced report generation, and has animation capabilities. Touchscreen PLCs can run one program, 
and can be used with data acquisition equipment to display the status, allow users to control devices simply by touching the screen, and can implement control based on measurements gathered from data acquisition equipment. Touchpad offers a high-resolution touchscreen that's programmable in ladder logic or C language. It comes with free HMI Works drag and drop type development environment, training videos, and demo programs. The demo programs provided include Touchpad as a Modbus RTU slave, Touchpad as a Modbus RTU master, reading data from a power meter, reading and writing to flash memory, writing control, using timers, controlling digital I.O., and using widgets. We can show you the development environment over a web meeting if you'd like, or if there's a programming function you'd like an example of, please let us know. PLC, Programmable Logic Controllers, like the touchpad, allow you to run one program that executes in a sequ sequential fashion. Programmable Automation Controllers allow you to run multiple programs at one time that can be developed in higher level programming languages like C++, C Sharp, and Java. We offer Windows CE.NET, Linux, and XP Embedded Standard 2009 and our own Mini OS 7 DOS-like programmable automation controllers. We released our first programmable automation controller called the WinCon 8000 with Windows CE.NET operating system in 2003. WinCon was the first of its kind, boasting both control and data acquisition capabilities. WinCon allowed users the freedom from intricate PC and PLC infrastructures, offering a hybridized method of delivering developed embedded control while presenting robust data acquisition capabilities. As a Microsoft embedded partner, ICP-DAS is able to work closely with Microsoft and has developed devices that can offer industrial automation capabilities via a familiar graphical user interface for users at any level to interact with. We have rack-based and embedded DINRAIL type versions available. We also have versions that support IEC 61131 languages like ladder logic, flow chart, sequential function block diagram. Our PCI and ISA data acquisition boards come in a wide range of data acquisition combinations for PC-based applications. Our PCI, PIO, PISO, and ISA data acquisition boards are available in a variety of digital and I.O. analog configurations. We provide a wide range of daughter boards with I.O. connector blocks. We offer PCI memory boards that are being used in casino gaming machines. They have digital I.O. and memory on board. We also offer a wide variety of PCI communication boards for adding CAN, device net, or serial communication to your computer systems. Smart power meters and data loggers can log energy consumption data and allow you to monitor devices through a PC. Power meters can be applied to low, medium, and high voltages to ensure reliable and accurate energy consumption and readings of monitored equipment in data acquisition applications. They communicate via RS-485, Modbus RTU, Modbus TCP, and CAN protocols, and are designed for single-phase and three-phase power measurements. They can be used easily with our free Easy Data Logger or SCADA software. Industrial data communication solutions can help with interoperability of systems as you can convert data from one network to communicate with another through protocol gateways and converters. You can also extend signals and join networks with switches, repeaters, and termination resistors. We carry Serial, Modbus, Profibus, Ethernet IP, Heart, DeviceNet, CAN, and many other kinds of converters. We also provide DIN rail mountable Ethernet switches as well as Zigbee and Wi-Fi wireless type products. Our Wi-Fi Data acquisition modules comply with the IEEE 802.11 B and G standards and can work with standard Wi-Fi routers. Wi-Fi provides an easy way to incorporate wireless connectivity into monitoring and control systems. They support Modbus TCP and UDP protocols and the network encryption configurations. They can be used with free Easy Data Logger, 
Modbus-based controllers, and SCADA software. Wi-Fi data acquisition I.O. modules are being used in applications where wiring is inconvenient. They are used for taking measurements and triggering outputs. They are being used with smart devices like smartphones and tablets for monitoring and control. GPRS remote terminal device servers with data acquisition like GT540, 3GWA communicate over the cellular network and bring data from Modbus devices back to SCADA systems over the internet. They have six digital inputs, two digital outputs, and one analog input on board. They also have two RS-232 and one RS-485 port for communication to Modbus RTU devices. They can log data on a micro SD card. They are widely used in M2M machine-to-machine -machine applications for getting data back from machine and automation systems. They are being used for truck tracking systems where you can see the location and the temperature in refrigerated trucks that are transporting goods. And they're also being used for reporting the contents of vending machines back to central systems. Photovoltaic systems use solar panels to convert energy from sunlight into electricity. Solar power monitoring systems consist of solar panels, power inverters, current input sensors with AC-DC inputs, analog input modules, communication converters, and monitoring software. They provide detailed status information like kilowatt hours and temperature. The information can also be logged so reports can be pulled up as necessary. PV systems can be hardwired, wireless, or internet-based and can provide power monitoring solar station information. Touchscreen controllers are being used in home and building automation applications. They are being connected with temperature sensors, power meters, Ethernet I.O. modules, and power over Ethernet switches. In home automation applications, the system can automatically turn lights on and off, trigger alarms, and it makes life much easier. Zigbee Alliance-based wireless converters and I.O. are being used in factory automation systems for passing information and controlling equipment based on information re retrieved. They enable machine equipment to communicate wirelessly and help to gather information like count, temperature, and bring the information back to operators regarding production status, which increases productivity. Touchpad touchscreen PLCs are being used in hospitals with Ethernet I.O. data acquisition modules for displaying patient information so patients can be helped in order of urgency. Users can trigger alarm devices so hospital personnel can be dispatched by pressing buttons. Doctors can clear messages and patient visits simply by touching the screen. Users can also view warnings and alarm conditions on the touchpad controller anytime. ICP DAS USA has been helping public utility companies with real-time monitoring and data acquisition systems. They're using I7188E2 serial to Ethernet device servers to bring serial data back over the Ethernet and increase their system productivity by 44% and decrease downtime by 30%. Prior to using these serial to Ethernet device servers, the serial data wasn't available to uh, communicate back to their central systems. I will now pass the presentation over to Mosin uh, for using data acquisition modules with Easy Data Logger. And uh, while I do, I wanted to mention we provide free technical support. We uh, also have low lead times, usually between two to five days. We provide customizable cost-effective solutions. We also can help with programming services. Please pro feel free to contact us if there's anything we can help with. Uh, go ahead, Mosin. Um, thank you, Maria. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Mosin Faiz from ICP DAS Technical Support, and this time I'm going to show you how to use um, Easy Data Logger with uh, one of our Ethernet module, for example, um, ET7017-10, which has 10 analog inputs. Um, first of all, um, here in the, our product page for Easy Data Logger, uh, you have a possibility to, to download this software for free in the reference and support section. 
uh, there is a link uh, then you can download the easy data logger at uh, no cost and um, if uh, also if you don't have uh, any access to internet uh, or if you are in a site you can find the easy data logger in the CD which comes with uh, our module uh, you can find it in the head of uh, uh, the CD drive then napdos slash driver slash easy data logger and you can download it however the version of the uh, the version on the website may be more uh, recent than on the disk okay when you download and install the program uh, I mean easy data logger you can <coughs> open it uh, from the start menu you can find it in the ICP DOS uh, folder in, in your uh, uh, programs and you can, inst you can uh, run it from here when uh, open uh, when we open uh, easy data logger uh, click on the file menu or project menu here and uh, uh, click on the new project uh, you can save your project in uh, any preferred location on your hard disk in your PC and you can name on it for example uh, uh, data logger number one you can save it anywhere which is preferred for you now you're ready to begin uh, configure and monitoring and control system First, you should uh, click on the uh, group configuration um, here uh, in group configuration window. You just need uh, to do four steps or process to create a, a connection to, to your module for logging and controlling. Um, the first step, uh, you create a, a connection. The second step, you add our modules, and at the third, um, you choose the channels to log, and at the fourth uh, step, you go back to the main screen. So first, uh, uh, click on install here, as I'm going to select uh, one of our ET module, which communicates over uh, Modbus TCP, I select Modbus TCP, but as you can see, you have different Java protocols here you can select to communicate with our modules and here in the host uh, you need to uh, insert the IP address of your Ethernet module um, for example here I have uh, the default uh, IP address of our modules which is 192.168.255.1 uh, and um, <coughs> If I click on install, uh, the plus device button will be enabled. Here, you can go directly to the second step, or you can click close here and continue the process from the uh, second step here. And if I click on add. You have the possibility to uh, configure uh, modules from, uh, for example, ET7000 series click this arrow key here you have the the driver and the IP address we just uh, put before in the drop down menu here you can select uh, the ET module which you have if the module is not here in this list you can um, you can add uh, with the numbers of the IO you have here manually so um, click add to add the module on the project you have and click close so here you as you can see you have uh, 10 uh, analog input channels because the module uh, which I have ET7017-10 uh, has 10 analog inputs in the WebHMI for this uh, module you have the possibility to set the, the input uh, ranges or the, the type of input uh, for this module for example if I go to the product page for this uh, ET module 
you can see the input type you, you, you can have different uh, input type uh, voltage or current for example 4 to 20 milliamps and you need to do the settings and also jumper uh, uh, go back to the easy data logger okay um, <coughs> here uh, by um, if you click on uh, each uh, analog input channels um, uh, you will see channel uh, properties screen here by putting the proper um, scale value in point uh, uh, one and point two of the analog input um, you can set the original uh, raw data in desired values to be logged and displayed for example if you have uh, uh, 4 to 20 milliamps uh, input set for the uh, analog input channel 0 I, uh, you can put the scale value from 4000 to 20000 which corresponds to 4 to 20 milliamps and if you click calculate uh, easy data logger uh, will calculate the gain for this channel according to the input range click on the modify and uh, you can see it will appear also in the uh, I, uh, analog input channel list here you can do the same procedure for all the channels you want to log and uh, on the third step you select the channels which you want to log if it is on the channel 0 you just select channel uh, 0 or you can select more channels and um, there is also a possibility to do uh, these uh, properties for a group of channels. If you click modify on step 3, you can uh, do the scale for all these channels, uh, all these selected channels, and uh, modify the, the gain and the offset of them. By the way, any channels you want uh, to lock, you just select it and click to add and you will have uh, the list of channels um, uh, which is going to be locked by easy data logger and on the step 4 you go back to the main screen um, actually you can have uh, you can lock uh, different channels in different uh, work groups if you don't need uh, if you just need one work group you can deal with uh, um, other work groups in the uh, group configuration window for example I don't need uh, work group 2 and work group 3 I just deal with them and then I can go back to the main screen as you can see I just have only one work group which is connected to one, uh, our uh, one 18, uh, 70, 70 module um, the next step is uh, to, to do some system configuration here you can um, uh, configure the, the sampling rate for, for your logging uh, data and also the pad which you are going to save uh, um, your um, logged data there is a possibility for you to, to save this logged data on your local database uh, of your easy data logger software or there is a possibility for you to uh, uh, configure a SQL uh, server which could be um, in another computer or another server um, click save to save your settings to be uh, available on your project and now you are ready to go and uh, test your uh, connection by clicking on start as I'm um, uh, as I need to um, configure my uh, PC uh, IP address to be able to connect to, to this ET module um, if I do that I will lose the connection to internet and I won't but if if you are doing by yourself um, when you click on start you should be able to see the green uh, LED here on the third uh, on the very uh, right side the third one on the right if there is a message also uh, you can see the message 
any error or any message you can see on the bottom side of this screen um, here I just do one uh, simulation just to show you uh, um, for the trends for example this uh, voice which you hear is because of there is no real communication to the uh, module that's why by the way I uh, stop the simulation um, when you uh, configure your um, easy data logger uh, system don't forget to register um, the license of your easy data logger it's pretty easy and as uh, Maria said uh, easy data logger is a free software which comes with uh, any of our module um, the basic uh, license uh, which uh, you have uh, is uh, for 64 tags which is free and um, if you don't register uh, your um, easy data logger it will be closed every two hours if you need more tags or advanced uh, features you can go for um, another license and um, which is advanced uh, edition um, on easy data logger you have the possibility to load um, um, let me close this to load the previous um, uh, database which you have saved before and you can load it um, as a trend or as a table and also there's a possibility for you to export it as a for example Excel file or directly print it it means um, you can uh, view your history files and your history data anytime you like okay um, thank you very much for your interest and for your attention for this presentation I go I pass back to Maria if you have any question just uh, put your question in the chat box and anytime you can contact us for any further information thank you very much and have a good day okay um, so if there are not any questions um, then we'll go ahead and adjourn the meeting thank you for coming to our webinar and if we can help you with anything please feel free to contact us at